All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to move your 2FA codes from Google Authenticator to Proton Authenticator. So the easiest way to do this is by using two phones. You won't need both of the phones throughout the process, but the first part requires you have another device. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is open both of the apps. So I already have my Google Authenticator app set up. So for this one, I'm just going to tap get started and it's going to ask me if I want to import. So there are so many 2FA apps here. And if I want, I can choose any of them. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'll be using Google Authenticator. So to import, what you need to do is open up the Google Authenticator app, tap these three lines in the top left corner, tap transfer codes, then tap export codes. Enter your fingerprint if required, and you can choose all the accounts you want the 2FA codes for. So by default, all of them will be selected, and I recommend you don't change any of it. Then tap next. So a QR code will be generated for you. I'm not going to show this QR code for obvious reasons. Now what you want to do is open the camera on your other device. So the camera has been opened, and then take a picture of the QR code. Then tap next. So another QR code will be generated again. So you do the same thing. Take a picture of the QR code. You're just taking normal pictures like you do when you go out with friends and all that. Then you tap next again. A third and final QR code will be generated for you. So take a picture of it. After that, tap next. And it will ask you if you want to remove all the codes you just exported. If you tap remove exported codes, it's going to delete all the codes you have. So if you want to keep using Google Authenticator, then just tap keep exported codes. So for me, I'm going to keep the codes because I want to try out Proton Authenticator. If it's something I like, then I'll, I may switch to it completely. But if it's not, then I'll stick to Google Authenticator. So from here, I can tap done. And then I can keep this one. Okay, so I've come back to Proton Authenticator. Now I'll tap Google Authenticator as the app I want to get my 2FA codes from. I'll tap it, then I'll tap Import. And it's going to ask me to choose all the photos that I just took, so I have to select them one by one. I'll start with the first photo. Select all of them, then tap Done. You can see it says successfully imported 30 items. Now, I'm not sure if it's because I have 30 items, it made me take three pictures. Maybe it is 10 per item or per picture. So maybe if you have up to uh, 50 QR codes, not QR code, 2FA codes, it may take five pictures. So just keep that in mind. Maybe you'll take more pictures than I did. Okay, next I'll tap skip. And as you can see, all the codes have been brought to Proton Authenticator. So yeah, if I bring Google Authenticator side by side, you can see that the numbers that are being generated are the same. If it's this phone that I wanted to use, if like if this phone had Proton Authenticator, all I'd have to do is just send all the pictures to this phone and then do the import procedure like I did on this phone. So yeah, if you want to copy pictures, or anything just use quick share it's a very easy way to transfer files between two android devices